table below shows the income tax rate in a certain year. So the first column, total income in Kenyan pound per annum. The second column, rate in shillings per pound. Below this statement, Mrs. Musau earned, earned a basic salary of 18600 per month and allowances amounting to 7800 per month. She claimed a personal relief of 1080 Kenyan shillings per month. Calculate total taxable income in Kenyan pound per annum. So taxable income... is obtained by getting the addition of the basic salary and all the taxable allowances. In this question, the basic salary is 18,600 and the allowances 7,800. This amount is in monthly basis so we have to convert as required in our question to give in kenyan pound per annum so to convert this one uh, to be taxable income per annum we multiply it by 12 and then to convert this amount to kenyan pound we'll divide the total by 20. so this will give the amount in kenyan pound and when you do this computation you will get a figure of 15,840 Kenyan pound. So that is the total taxable income in Kenyan pound per annum. The second part, the tax payable in Kenyan shilling, tax payable in Kenyan shillings per month without relief. So we are going to tax, since we've obtained our taxable income, our taxable income is this is the amount in Kenyan pound we've got Kenyan pound 15,840 so this is the amount that you're going to tax using this taxation table so the first slab this is the first slab it will be the first slab the second slab the third the four the fifth and the six so in the first lab we have 3900 one to 3900 so we have 3900 multiply by two to convert this one into kenyan shillings to obtain 7800 then we need to go uh, to the second slab until we exhaust this 15840 so the second one will still be 3900. The reason is because the size of this bracket starts from 3901 to 7800. So that is a size of that bracket is of size 3900. So you just need to take 7800, subtract 3900. So this one multiply by 3. And this one, when you multiply it, gives 11,000. 700 we still need to go to the third bracket the third bracket this one starts from 7801 to 11700 again when you get the difference you realize uh, it's still the same size 3900 3900 and then we multiply by by four the slab this gives a figure of 15600 we have not exhausted 15,840 since this one is uh, 3,900 plus 3,900 plus 3,900. We, we can still have another slab. And this slab, the size is still the same. You can confirm the size. The fifth, uh, this is in the fourth slab. This is in the fourth slab. 11, 701, 15, 600, the size is the same, that 900 times 5, this gives 19,500, after that taxation, we need to check whether 
uh, we can go to another slab of that 900 what is the remaining to get the remaining amount uh, what you're going to do will take 15,000 840 that is the amount you are taxing then you have so far we have taxed 3900 four times and this will give a remainder of um, 240 so that is what is remaining uh, to now tax the whole amount so the remaining uh, amount is 240 we multiply that one by this one will fall in the in the fifth slab and in the fifth slab we have six that is uh, multiply by six this gives amount of 14 40 that's all so we have now taxed 15,840 so when you add 3900 plus 3900 plus 3900 plus 3900 plus 240 it amounts to 15,840 now we need to add now the total tax let's get the total tax total tax and you get that by adding everything there and this one when you add 7800 plus 11 700 plus 15 600 plus 19 500 plus 1440 it gives 56 56040 so that is the amount that we get so the question requires us to get the tax per month and this one is per annum so we need to convert these to get the amount in um, the tax per month we're going to divide this amount 56 0, 40. we divide this one by 12 and the tax we are going to obtain uh, here will be the tax per month so we divide 56 0, 40. divide by 12 it gives 4670 so this gives 4670 so this is the tax payable in kenyan shillings per month without relief that is without relief now the other question is the tax payable after relief so the relief that you are given is um 1080 per month so this one is uh, simple we just take the tax that you've got per month which is 46 70 and then we subtract the relief per month which is 1080 and this gives 10 shillings 35 90 that is the tax after the relief so we're going to subtract that relief then the last question is Mrs. Musao's net monthly income. So net monthly income. So net income will be given by total earnings minus all the deductions. And in this case, uh, Mrs. Musau earns the total earnings are basic salary plus the allowances. So eighteen six hundred. So this will be eighteen six hundred plus seven thousand eight hundred. Those are the earnings. Subtract the tax. The tax which will be thirty five ninety. And this gives the net income to be 22,810. So that is how we are supposed to solve that last uh, part of the question. So thank you so much for following through. Hit the subscription button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much.